Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome back to my Crybaby Whims Legacy Challenge. This is episode 19. We're just here at the moment with Scarlett who is grafting on to the lily plant. So we are hopefully going to be getting an orchid when it grows. So we're gonna come over here and just do a little bit of analysis. Um, she'll be heading off to work really, really shortly. She's kind of done as much as she needs to do uh, in terms of ambrosia. So, so she's like, I might as well just go and try and distract myself with work. She's still feeling like really, really sad and depressed thinking about everything so I think she just wants something to take her mind off of off of Angel basically like when she's home she's thinking about her and everything like to do to save her so she's like when I go to work I just it gives me a chance to think about other things and put my mind sort of like as a distraction so I think we are going to let her finish doing this and then she will be heading off to work whereas Lola has actually taken some time off work because she still wants to work on her medium skills so she is going to head upstairs and get herself sorted she's going to come use the bathroom and then probably clean the bath so that she can have a bath herself she's feeling a little bit sad because she remembered that yesterday was Winterfest and they didn't do anything to celebrate she's probably feeling a little bit guilty because the kids obviously are quite young but she's probably going to try and like distract herself by thinking well they were too young to even know anything anyway so surely they won't even know that they missed out on anything but she's feeling a little bit guilty herself whereas Scarlet just does not care she has no like sad moodlets about it. All she's sad about is the fact that um, Angel passed away. So she is completely detached from everything. All she can think about is Angel. We really need to do some house maintenance because the litter tray over here is so gross. She's feeling really, really uncomfortable. I think she is realizing, you know, that they have let the house slip a tiny little bit, but she is at the moment just preparing the food. It is half one and Lilith is literally still in bed asleep she is not going to be waking up for ages she is so smelly she's got like dirt all over her face so maybe we'll see if Lola will give her a bath later Damien is awake and he's feeling pretty happy actually from being awake even though he's not really doing anything down here his needs are doing fine um so we don't have to worry quite so much but we probably should come and feed him at some point once Lola has finished feeding herself and then we also need to feed Lucifer and I imagine um Lilith will probably wake up and come and grab some food herself as well she can I believe go up yeah she can go up and down the stairs so we don't have to worry about like carrying her or anything like that she can come and kind of look after herself which is quite sad because she is like four years old and she's looking after herself but um her mom is very distracted and Lola is as well she's still feeling really uncomfortable she's known that she's got to like practice working on this medium skill but everything needs looking after so she's a bit conflicted as to what to do like they're going through stuff right now they're not exactly thinking straight um so they might not be making the right decisions but I think considering everything it's the decisions that make the most sense she's feeling a bit more happy now because she's like saving money even though you do not have to worry about money maybe she's thinking because she's moved in with Scarlett she's like I'm not spending all of Scarlett's money I'm making sure I'm doing things as cheap as possible she doesn't want to spend all of Scarlett's money considering Scarlett is here like helping her out while down here all by himself Damien has actually unlocked the Babel milestone which reminds me that we have not been doing any of his milestones at all he has not done very many but it makes sense because Lola is so distracted she is coming down to like take care of him at the moment but he is aging up tomorrow and it he I don't even know if we've ever done tummy time with him I've, I don't think we have but I think once she has finished feeding him we will probably just put him on the floor and she will continue practicing to commune with the departed it looks like Lilith is awake now she's making her way downstairs and she's so sad bless her she's gonna come and grab herself some fruit salad and then she'll probably entertain herself with Lucifer for a little while Scarlet is home from work now and she is coming straight outside to tend to her garden she is still feeling super sad and she's feeling like she wants to discuss her fears of death with someone so we'll probably try and do that at some point but she's just making sure she looks after her garden outside um and then she'll come downstairs and probably check the garden down here as well because we have some snapdragons um and hopefully this um splice plant will grow tomorrow i don't know if we'll get orchids tomorrow but we might be able to like the day after or something lola's skill is actually high enough now to do a seance with scarlet so we are gonna suggest maybe doing it while damien is here sleeping and lilith is just upstairs distracting herself with um with lucifer as we expected she's like why don't you come over i'll show you what i can do i've been able to like 
I get a sense that they're there. I haven't been able to speak to them directly, but I can feel like that they're actually around. And I think Scarlett is definitely going to want to try and give it a go. She's gained the par- uh, the medium skill as well, but she's a little bit hesitant. She's like, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I suppose if we want to bring them back, we do need to find a way to like communicate with them to actually bring them back. Because if we've not spoken to their ghosts, then how are we going to be able to give them this ambrosia? What, who are you? What is this? Hello? Is this some kind of unsolicited call? What if I come to your house and start banging on your door? Go welcome wagon some other ghost. I'm not interested. So they definitely spoke to a ghost that did not want to be spoken to. So we don't know if that is like our partners or if that is someone else, but she's definitely getting there. And I don't think she's going to give up yet. I think she's going to try once more while Scarlet goes upstairs. She's just going to go cry in the bed, probably because, you know, that wasn't the response she was hoping for. She wanted to be able to speak to Angel and it wasn't Angel by the sound of it. And if it was, it wasn't a very happy Angel. So she is going to go upstairs and cry in bed. She's a little bit frustrated. <laughs> she's a little bit frustrated by that. Um, so yeah, she's just going to try and calm herself down in bed and leaving her child once again, who wants to come and ask her mum for a bath, but she's over here so smelly. She's seen her mum is home and she's like, I just really want a bath. But instead, she is just pooping in her nappy. But she, she just really wants a bit of attention and her mum is, yeah, her mum's just sleeping in bed. So we'll see if Scarlet does anything to actually look after Lilith or, or if Lilith is just kind of continued to be neglected. But the lights are flashing now as Lola continues to make some progress. So hopefully we'll get a more positive response. Wow, the living here talking with me. It's been ever so long since I've conversed with someone non departed. I don't even know where to begin. How about those sports team? Is breathing still a thing? It's okay, so that ghost was definitely a lot more positive, um, which is convincing um, Lola that there is definitely someone out there that she could speak to. She's hoping that if she keeps working on her skills, she can find the ghost that she is after. And Lilith is making her way up the stairs once again to try and ask her mum for a bath and hopefully she'll be successful this time. Scarlett didn't go down to check on her. She kind of like just isolated herself in the room. Um, and so we'll see if she will actually give Lilith a bath. Hopefully she will because she can see how smelly she is and how kind of sad she is. Lilith isn't sad because she's stinky anymore, but she is sad because she's thinking about her mum who passed away. She is still feeling really, really upset, but at least her needs are taken care of. And she's actually not like depressed or anything at the moment in terms of her needs. So she does want to play with her dolls, but her doll house has been broken. So she's gonna go and watch her mum and then maybe ask her if she can fix it. Lola has actually decided to come and bathe Damien all by herself. She realized that he was pretty stinky as well after spending the day next to him. Um, with a smelly diaper, she's like, I should probably actually give you a bath. So she'll probably feed him afterwards, but then she does want to skill up. So I think that is probably referring to the medium skill, which is so, so close. So she'll definitely come over and um, give him some food quickly. She'll give him a bottle and then, do we have a little play mat? We actually do have one, but it's outside. So maybe we will take this downstairs um, and we'll put this over here so we can come and put Damien down here. It looks like Lilith is down here. So maybe actually, instead of putting him on there, we'll just put him on the floor and then Lilith can play with him as well because their sleep schedules are all out of whack. It is literally almost 11 p.m. at night and both children are pretty rested. <laughs> Um, so I think we're gonna come and put Damien on the floor so Lilith can play with him and then I think we might try and do another seance with Scarlet. Oh look, she's coming to pet loose for all by herself. This is like her only friend at the moment. <laughs> she can come and give him a comforting hug. She's so sad. She's like, Lucifer, you're my best friend. I want to give you a hug. Oh look at this. Oh, she loves him so much. I, I love that she's got him but it is a, it's a shame that, you know, she doesn't really have her mum with her right now but we do have Damien that I want her to like become friends with as well. So she is just over here chatting with Damien at the moment who is again a little bit sad because he is a sensitive toddler. He's feeling a little bit overstimulated probably with all the noise that's going on as well but these two are attempting their seance and then I think we'll probably send them off to bed because their needs are getting a little bit low and to be fair Lilith could probably also do with some sleep so we'll send her off to bed as well. As Damien he is getting a bit tired so maybe these kids will end up having a little bit of a better sleep schedule but we can come and sing him a song 
oh she's gonna try and make him feel a little better because he wasn't feeling too great a moment ago so hopefully this will make him oh he likes he's thinking about her scarlett is up this morning and just making some breakfast i was considering having her take the day off work today but she did actually wake up with a want to complete a work task so she is thinking about going off to work i think probably to continue to distract herself she's still thinking about angel she's still waking up with that sad mood look so I guess she will be going off to work today, even though I was considering, you know, having her stay home. Our plant downstairs hasn't actually grown overnight, which is such a shame. I was really hoping it would kind of blossom a little bit more. So hopefully it will for tomorrow because after we get that, we still need to splice it with the, um, the orchid like with the pomegranate tree so there's more steps and it's gonna take a little while so it doesn't even matter that scarlet wanted to go to work today because she's actually not doing work today so that's probably why she's thinking about this she was like i can't believe i've not got work i really just want to go to distract myself um so instead she's gonna have to focus on tasks around the house that she, that she didn't get done yesterday so we've got a few things that we actually need to take care of so many things are broken around the house we had our dishwasher and then upstairs we have got our dryer and our shower but scarlett did get electrocuted apparently so we will not be repairing our um our dryer we will just repair our our shower because that doesn't have any impact on us getting electrocuted luckily lola on the other hand does actually have a want to dry laundry in the dryer so i'm thinking she's probably recognizing that you know laundry hasn't been done in a while things are getting a bit smelly and our dryer has broken so maybe she'll have her go at repairing the dryer and then putting on some laundry she is helping scarlet around the house a little bit who needs some extra help because she is she's not in a very good place right now it looks like the splice plant did actually grow a little bit more so hopefully we can see some orchids sprouting tomorrow lola is officially having a midlife crisis and she has got a desire for success i'm not too sure how much of this we're actually going to do because we have a lot of other things to focus on she might be able to do some bragging we might be able to hire professional services if something breaks again but we're not going to be going into the business career and we're not going to be buying a hot tub so i don't know if she's going to have the best midlife crisis um but i think she's probably got more other more important things to be thinking about like we still need to be practicing with the seance table downstairs she just wanted to get a bit of laundry done um and scarlet has been looking after her plants and then she actually wants to come and talk to her daughter imagine that she is feeling lustful though so she's probably thinking about angel especially if she's over here talking to the actual plants themselves and she does want to talk to damien as well so like the two children she is remembering you know exist oh my goodness and damien actually said his first word to scarlet that is so perfect so he's doing pretty well with the like the social milestones but not very good with the motor ones because he's had no one actually teaching him them so while scarlet is um are you neat sure sure that makes sense um but while scarlet's actually over here maybe she's thinking i should probably actually give the children some attention maybe she'll do a little bit of tummy time with him even though her daughter's coming down to like talk to her she's like damien um hasn't learned anything and she has been chatting with the kids so maybe she's just gonna do a little bit of this and scarlet's come down and stopped talking to her mum after seeing this like she made all the way downstairs and then the second she saw her mum doing this it axed itself off oh my goodness scarlet was watching lilith and then has decided to leave her down here to go and cry in bed again lilith is still stinky she still wants to sing a song to her mum she wants to give her mum a little bit of attention like mum remember i'm here but scarlet axed it off and decided to go to cry out in bed she is feeling focused though and she is kind of like not got that sad moodlet anymore so i think she is thinking even more like it's getting closer to making this ambrosia i don't have to worry so much um about our angel being gone forever as long as we can communicate with their ghosts and bring them back then she might be able to come back to life lilith is over here actually playing with her dolls for once instead of destroying them and then she's gonna come over and pet lucifer she is increasing her fun um, but her attention and hygiene is still a little bit low and her energy is going down too so I imagine she'll head to bed soon. She did want to talk with Damien, but Damien is getting put to bed. So I think I might actually have her come upstairs as well and take herself off to sleep. It won't be too long 
wait until we plan the seance. I'm thinking maybe like 10 or 11. That will give the girls both enough time to get their energy up a little bit and hopefully, you know, ghostly hours late at night. Just as the girls woke up, I heard a sound and we do actually have Lily outside. So um, Scarlett has woken up. She can't see her or anything at the moment. We were about to go and do the seance, but she decided she wanted a bit of food first. She's feeling a little bit tense because she is a technophobe. I didn't even realise she was, you know, interacting with technology. <laughs> so I don't know why she's got that, but she's going to have some food while Lola changes um, at Damien's nappy, nappy and then she will take him back off to bed. And I want to try this. I want to see what Invoke the Dead does. So Lola is just invoking the dead at the moment. Her chair is lifting up. So hopefully this is positive. Her child is just crying in the background, but she is just too distracted at the moment. Scarlett has sabotaged the TV. Why would you do that, Scarlett? Come downstairs. You're going to come here ready for all of this. She's kind of a little bit late. Maybe they agreed at like 12 they would start this. Um, and she's not down here or anything. So Lola started without her. Um, and hopefully this is going to work. As I say, I've never done this before. So I don't really know what to expect. But luckily Damien has got himself off to sleep. So we don't have to hear crying anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there's an angry little spirit. So I guess that's what that means. Um, you do not need to come and take a shower. But there is... There's a little ghost here. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, we're gonna come and um, attempt to communicate with the spectre. This is not what we were expecting. We were hoping to see a ghost, not a spectre. Um, so we're gonna attempt to communicate with it. And I don't think we're gonna offer our soul. I think we're just going to attempt the communication. And Scarlet was down here. So she's gonna come back over as well. And she can actually present an offering. She can offer a photograph. Um, offer an egg instead. <laughs> Why not? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's terrifying. So communicating with the didn't work. So Scarlet is gonna be like, um, I have a fresh egg if you would like that. <laughs> it doesn't look very happy right now. Um, is it happy? It's got like a thumbs up. It doesn't look very pleased but interacting with the spectre did something because lola is feeling playful and she is going to come and speak to lily right now who is really really sad but she has noticed she's here i don't know where they're going i would like them to just speak um they are going to we're going to tell lily <laughs> about the child we're like oh my gosh i'm she obviously she passed away before she even knew so they're going to come into um lily's room and she is going to announce you know that they have a baby together and be like so we um we actually had a child like this is her first time speaking to lily um since he, she passed away and she's like oh my gosh i'm so pleased that we had a baby we're gonna have a conversation with her because this is the first time they're seeing each other again i think we're gonna come over and probably come and give her a hug as well um we're gonna discuss her sad mood and then we'll probably also tell her you know that we are planning to try and bring her back to life we're gonna share our ideas and everything that's going on but they did this all of their own accord um they decided to come and speak to each other and i'm so pleased about it this is actually the first time they're seeing each other again for so so long and lola is in such a good mood and scarlet is probably well she's feeling inspired too she's gonna come and light the bonfire maybe because she's like this is what angel used to do all the time if lily's ghost is here then maybe doing something that you know lola wanted maybe that will encourage her to come out so maybe we can try and call forth her ghost i love that lily actually came after we were doing all the seances that is so so perfect but let's come over here and see it worked oh my gosh and look how happy angel is to see us and straight away scarlet is going to come over and have a chat with her and they're just having a little bit of a catch up Oh my goodness, she was so, so happy to see her. We're gonna probably give her like a little bit of a flirt um, as well because you know, that is everything we wanted her to do. We're gonna discuss our fears um, and Lola's actually had um, a breakthrough moment. So she's like, this is actually gonna work. You know, we can actually make this work. We can bring them back, which is so, oh my gosh, I'm so pleased that we're here. We're gonna ask her about being dead and be like, are you, how does it feel? And she's straight away, she's like, I don't wanna talk about that. Um, she's not she does not want to discuss that so okay we won't ask you again because it clearly makes her feel a little bit uncomfortable i think scarlet is going to come over and profess her undying at love for angel and tell her you know that we're planning to bring her back to life so we are going to propose a crazy scheme tell her about everything that we plan to do it looks like we have actually got some plants growing over there oh my gosh hopefully our orchid will be there but she's just gonna tell her you know like i love you so much and i can't do this without you so lola and i are actually planning to bring you both back to life and angel is now feeling sad 
she was feeling confident a moment ago, but now we've told her that she's feeling sad. So maybe she's, I don't know, a bit unsure. She's like, I don't know, is it worth, is it worth the, like, the stress? Is it worth everything? Like, I've been gone for a little while now, but I don't know, I think Scarlett is still going to be very determined. She's like, no, don't worry, you're just feeling a little bit paranoid about everything. I know what I'm doing, it'll be completely fine. But it is getting quite um late into the night, morning now, I guess. Um, oh. Damien is hitting a milestone by the looks of it. He's so stinky. But I think the ghost will probably be heading back soon. Oh, he can roll over onto his tummy. Bless him. And what is this? What is this over here? A soul scrap? A spectre's left behind a soul scrap. Um, right. Okay, we're going to take that. I think Lola will put that in her inventory. Scarlet was able to get her orchid, which is so amazing. And luckily, it is a winter plant. So we can actually come and plant it upstairs. So we might get rid of these mushrooms because we don't really care about them, to be honest. And then we can come and plant our orchid and that can start to grow outside and it'll be ready to splice with our pomegranate soon. And these two stayed up all night talking to Angel and Lily. Um, they're both pretty tired. Uh, Lola is giving Damien a bath because he is so, so smelly. She also then needs to feed him because he's so hungry as well. Oh, and Lily is stinky too. She is heading outside. I'm not too sure what she's going off to do. She is going to try and talk to her mom. The Scarlet is going to come and plant the orchid and then water it and then probably take herself off to sleep because she is pretty, pretty tired. She didn't sleep at all last night, although Lilith has come all the way outside. She still really wants to talk to her. She wants to blow her kiss off to everything. She is still wanting to like show her mom a little bit of attention. Looks like Angel is still here, but she's still feeling sad. Why is she still here at 8am? I thought Grace had to leave. Um, I don't know, but she's still here and she's still feeling really sad. And it looks like Lilith is probably going to notice that Angel is here right now. She doesn't want to interact with her though. She's just blowing a kiss to Scarlet. So maybe she can't actually see Angel or anything. Like she's definitely there, but she's not acknowledging that she's there. Oh, Scarlet is picking up Lilith. Is she actually going to, you know, change her diaper, give her a bath or something? Or is she, she's still just chatting with Angel? She is going to tell her story, but you should probably bathe her because she's so smelly and so sad i'm really hungry too we should probably prepare some food oh damien is just screaming in the bathroom but lola is feeling so lustful probably after the night with lily she is thinking about you know when she comes back but i have asked her to feed him and she is not doing that can you please feed your child Oh no, the fruit salad has gone off. The food that we left out for Lilith is not very nice. So she is going to go and stop eating that. But the two parents are actually in bed. Um, so I'm not too sure what she's going to do. Like, is she going to go and wake up Scarlett or Lola? Because she is pretty hungry. Um, so yeah. Oh no, I'm so that's such a shame. There was food left out for her, but it's gone off. <laughs> And instead of waking up her parents, she's decided she's going to eat a crayon instead. Maybe she was thinking, mum's not going to do anything anyway, so I might as well try and eat by myself. And it didn't even fill up her hunger. She's instead going to go and play in the rubbish. So I think she's just going to come up and wake up her mum because she is realising, you know, that she is still hungry and we do not want Lilith to be taken away. Lilith is very hungry. Be sure to feed her. So she's like, mum, I really need some food. She's going to ask for food before I even set her up to anyway. So Scarlett, stop being a brainiac go and feed your child please she's feeling so confident because she's overcome her fear of death oh my goodness so speaking to um angel must have really helped her with that fear she's like i have nothing to be afraid of because i know she's still there she's not gone forever and this ambrosia is really coming together like i planted the orchid um it's gonna start growing and then i'll be able to get the death flower so everything's gonna be fine she's overcome that fear that's so perfect Sad little Lilith has finally got her food at last. She's got some strawberry yogurt. She is luckily getting filled up and Scarlet is helping herself to some food as well, but it has also gone off. Of course it has. She is listening to Lilith babbling. I do love that it's always Lilith that is like talking to her. It's sad, but it is, it's cute. Oh, and after all that babbling, Lilith can now talk. We haven't even like tried to help her with any of her skills, but she has learned to talk all by herself. So these are the skills skills that she has managed to develop without her mum basically she's got movement and communication to level three imagination and thinking are two and potty is level one because she has not been helped potty in so long oh and things have got a bit too much for Lilith again she is needing some fun so she has decided to destroy her doll's house 
again and now she's feeling really sad about it so she always destroys it and then she's like well actually i liked my dolls <laughs> so she's feeling happy though because she did destroy it oh my goodness damien has learned to sit up by himself so oh my gosh and now he's just aged up um i completely forgot that it was his birthday Okay, well, he learned to sit up and then he aged up. So let's see what traits he gets. Fussy and clingy. That makes perfect sense considering he was sensitive and he didn't get much attention. He's just like, I really want some attention and fussy as well. Of course he is. I mean, he, again, it just makes sense as to why he got those. But oh my gosh, here is little Damien. So we'll definitely be giving him a makeover, but he has aged up. He is really cute, but really sad, bless him. I don't think I've ever seen this top before. It's really cute though. Lilith has come downstairs to give him a hug and i do think i'm gonna end the episode here thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and let me know what you think and if you haven't already please do subscribe it means so much to me and i will speak to you all in another video bye everyone